guys. Jay. Hi. Has anybody seen Claire Logan's column this morning? Yeah, what kind of feminist propaganda is she spewing now? Men should cry. <laughs> no, Gordon, there are some circumstances by which men should cry. Good for you, Jay. Anytime Michael Jordan retires. <laughs> Moment of silence, please. Sherry, it's Michael Jordan. <laughs> Anyhow, Claire's column was about what constitutes a relationship. Jay, your thoughts? Well, I have many thoughts. For one, why are we discussing this again? Well, it's just that Claire says after nine days, you're in a relationship. Nine? What? Nine? <laughs> That's crazy. Nine is good. Nine is somewhere in there. Okay, so, um, how many dates have we been on? Not nearly nine. We've been on probably about six... point five... American. Gordon? That sounds about right. Oh, cheeseburgers went up. Jay, excuse me. Just a little clarification here. What the hell's a half a date? Okay, like when you came over to my house and cooked dinner the other night. Why isn't that a date? Well, because I was already there. There's no travel time, Gordon. That's correct. You guys are ridiculous. Look, I'm not trying to start anything. I don't want to make any waves. So out of generosity, I will call this meal half a date. What do you think? Hmm, what time is it? I guess it's half a date. What'd I say? on why men are the inferior sex, change emasculated to castrated. Right. Hey, it's you. It is. Claire Logan. I was just talking about you. Who would you like me to make it out to? Oh, no, 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 don't get it twisted. It's not that I'm a fan of your column, it's just that I'm strangely drawn to. Oh? Yeah, like a car wreck. No, because of you, I got into a real big argument with my girl last night. So send her flowers. Why should I send her flowers? She had no right to be angry. She should be sending me bear's tickets. Remind me, why am I having this conversation with you? Because you profess to know how men my age think and feel. Oh, I see. So I can't write from the point of view of a 20-something male. Oh, no, you can. You just can't do it accurately. I have two million readers who would disagree with you. You'd have four million readers if you had a more accurate male point of view. OK. OK, what? I will interview you for my column, and you can air all your pet peeves. Really? Because I have quite a few. Come on, give me your best shot. Oh, no, I don't hit women. And they say chivalry is dead. <laughs> it may not be dead, but the more men who read your column, the sicker it gets. We'll do lunch. <laughs> Shari, where are the train tokens? I'm late. Check in the candy bowl. We don't put non-candy items in the candy bowl. That's how your mother ended up in the emergency room. <laughs> hey, you got your business Thank cards made you. up. Thank you, I'm late too. I love you, goodbye, I will see you later. Whoa, whoa, honey, honey, wait. Now, the only reason I could possibly think you wouldn't want me to see your business cards is... Uh-huh, I knew it. Shari Romanowski, you made a name. You just went ahead and did it. Gordon, honey, we've been over this, okay? It doesn't mean I don't want to be married to you. It doesn't mean I don't love you. It just means I want my own professional identity. You know, my mother, Trudy Hamill, she had her own professional identity. That's because your father never came out of the basement. My father was an inventor slash songwriter. And if the musical placemats had taken off, we'd be rich! <laughs> If the number of dates is not a factor, then what does constitute a relationship with you? It's... It's like an unsaid feeling. 
And how is the woman supposed to know that she's in the relationship? She will pick up on that feeling. Uh. <laughs> and all men share this point of view? Of course we do. Who's a man? <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a conclusive Gallup poll. <laughs> Any other universal male truths about relationships that you care to share with the readers? You see, Claire, it's just like a woman to ask a question like that. No, seriously. All women want to do is talk about the relationship. What are we? How do you feel about me? How come I only have your pager number? <laughs> oh, sure. How am I doing? Can't you feel what I'm thinking? I'm cooking. <laughs> right? Jay says, well, what do we have here? Hey, Jay, was that you in the paper this morning? I believe it was. Fantastic. You're a star, buddy. Well, I wouldn't say that. But I would, Jay. And Jay, I want you to know that I was wrong and you were right. Oh, I'm sorry, there's a lot of noise out here. Uh, could you repeat that, baby? I was so, so wrong and you were so, so right. Mm, and I know that's what you said. Can I quote you on that? Put it in the headline. Take a hard copy. I already bought a thousand. I'm peppering my apartment with them. You're Jay Frazier. Guilty ass charge. You know, I wish they were all like you. They broke the mold, baby. They broke the mold. <laughs> There you go. Don't even ask. Yes, it's me. Hey! Mm. Just the way I like it. We heard. We read. You're, You're a hit. hit. I'm a hit. I've been trying to compete with you because yours is the only point of view that counts. Ah, that's the only thing you said that I agree with. Jay! Hey, Jay! Hey, can I check out your classifieds? Hey, check out the paper. I'm in it today. Hmm, so am I. Divorced white male seeking afternoon playmates. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still talking to the little people? For the time being. <laughs> I'm thinking you should lose a Frasier. Just go with the J from now on. I mean, think about it. Cher, Madonna, Flipper. Jay. Hey, Claire. Claire Logan. Jay never told me you were so talented a writer. <laughs> I'm Gordon. Yeah, I I'm a very good friend of Jay. How nice for you. Yes. I need to talk to you for a second. Well, uh, um, I'm needed in court. I'm sure that you are. No, really, I am a big lawyer. It's a very big case. Uh-huh. Right, okay, uh, ergo with God. Ergo with God? Don't quote him on that. Look, um, I would like to do a second article with you. Gee, you would like to do another article? Why would your editor like to do another article with me? What makes you think that it was my editor's idea? Well, because he called me last night. He called you? Oh, yeah. And I had a real nice talk. Sweet man, sweet man. Are you enjoying yourself? Wouldn't you? Let me just get started. My boss... Ed? My boss, Ed. <laughs> Wants to do a he said, she said on relationships. Mmm, juicy. So, I don't suppose that you have a girlfriend. I am currently seeing someone right now, but 
I don't see the need to call her a girlfriend. Well, then what would you call her? Oh, well, she's a girl who happens to be a friend, and I'm crazy about her. Do you love her? You could say that. Why would I? She's not my girlfriend. <laughs> Look, I'm looking for you to say it. Okay, fine. I love her. Then why wouldn't you call her a girlfriend? Just because she leaves a toothbrush and some dental floss in my place doesn't mean we're engaged. Okay, so then you're not a fan of marriage. No, 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 no. I'm cool with marriage. It's just that I believe some of its rituals are outdated. Uh, can I get some of this on tape? Oh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Take my friend Gordon, for instance. His wife is keeping her maiden name, and it is driving him nuts. And what do you think? Oh, me? My position is firm on the matter. A real man couldn't care less. I agree with you. I'm rethinking my position. Jay. Come in, Gordon. I'd like you to take a look at tomorrow's paper. Well, Gordon. We in the legal game call it the early edition. Oh, another article. A real man could care less if his wife keeps her maiden name? Okay, Gordon, all I meant was that it shouldn't really matter. That's it. Um, hold up a second. A man is defined by what he does. A woman is defined by who she's with. Excuse me? No. <laughs> so you define me. Okay, no, that's not what I meant. You reading into that. In my toothbrush. You mentioned my toothbrush. My mother reads this paper. <laughs> so what's the problem? Your mama doesn't believe in premarital flossing? <laughs> you know, apparently there was a lot of what you didn't mean all over that article. Yeah. I mean, I'm thinking I have a pretty good case of slander. That is not slander. I meant libel. <laughs> That's not libel either. Look, I don't have time to teach you law right now. <laughs> oh, my God. You told this woman you loved me? I did? Where? Did you or didn't you? Well, what's on the page? It says you loved me. Oh. And apparently, I'm not even your girlfriend. So you have no problem telling this to two million readers, including my mother, but you can't tell me? Yeah. Okay, everybody just relax and release. Okay, just relax and release. Okay, now, what I meant... Was... You have no idea what you meant. I've heard enough. Yeah. You hurt me, you hurt Melissa, so get out! <laughs> Gordon is my house. For now. Thanks for meeting me here, Claire. Look, this he said, she said thing has gotten way out of control. I know. It's great, well, isn't it? No, it's not great. My life is a mess. <sighs> okay, let me guess. Your friends feel betrayed. Yes. Your girlfriend is hurt. Yes, she walked out on me. Mm -hmm. And now she's probably ready to run off to Mexico with her personal trainer. <laughs> no, she doesn't have a personal trainer. Oh, well, that happened to me. But I got through it. Because I'm a woman and I am strong. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? You're a man. First sign of pressure and you crumple like a Cub Scout cookie. The Cub Scouts don't sell cookies, Claire. That's right. Because like you, they don't have any guts. No guts? No guts? When's the next deadline? Five o'clock. I want a picture. Under mine. Side by side. Deal. <laughs> Men are so easy. Your comments in the paper made me look like an idiot. You know, don't you think you're overreacting? I mean, it was just an article, Gordon. Oh, I am so sorry, Mr. Relationship Expert. Why don't we see what your date has to say? Melissa? Oh, wait, Liz, what happened to Melissa? Oh, you just want to push all my buttons, don't you? Just push them. Huh? I told you, Melissa had a headache. Oh, really? She had a headache? Are you sure there wasn't a situation? Gordon, obviously there's a situation if Jay's date is a chair. <laughs> well, I can't wait to read the article. A man is defined by his job, but a chair? A chair is defined by the people who sit on it. You know what? I'm out of here. Oh. No, no, Jay. I'm not him no, no, no. Uh -uh. Sit down. He is being ridiculous. Ridic Romanowski's right. Oh, uh, not this again. No, stick around. We're gonna have delicious cake in about mm, five seconds. Where's your wedding ring? Ring, ring. 
Or is J. Michael an ancient pagan ritual? Like, I don't know, using your husband's name? I never said that. You're paraphrasing. Well, I wouldn't want to misquote the book of J, chapter 5, verse 4. Fine. You know what? Two can play at this game. No, Sherry. Honey, honey, you can't do that. It's the name or the ring. You can't do both. You know what I like about our relationship, baby? We don't have problems like that. <laughs> hey, you look gorgeous. Please, I just came from the gym. I did four miles on the treadmill. Which says all the more for your natural beauty. <laughs> Jay, what do you want? I wanted to see you. I have a couple things that I want to say. Huh? Uh-uh. You're absolutely right. Still, uh-uh. Okay, I'm all out. Unless you want to see something in a ten and a half loafer. Jay, you know what I want? I want you to tell me what you felt comfortable telling two million people in that paper. What, that you floss in my house? Come out here. No, no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Jay, 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 big news. Oh, Claire, this is uh, Melissa. Oh, the girlfriend with the toothbrush? I have the name. Uh, I know, I know, it's Melissa. Anyway, um, I hope you're getting good stuff here because we've got a column tomorrow and we are going national. What? Yeah, that's right, baby. 200 papers nationwide. Well, that is great. <laughs> no, it's not that great. Uh, I'll just leave you two, but I'll leave this with you because we're gonna need copy. Jay, you know, I got a great headline for you. It's me or the paper. Your choice, Jay. Oh, Melissa, Melissa. This is Lisa Cromwell, and I am live here on the streets of Chicago talking today to the examiners Claire Logan and Jay Frazier. Now, what makes their columns so popular is that these two agree on absolutely nothing. Isn't that right? Yes. No. See what I mean? All right, let's start with a very hot topic. Should a woman go home with a man after their first date? Absolutely not. I agree. Okay, well, um, maybe we can try uh, another question. Should a man take the male birth control pill? Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. What are you doing? Okay, so maybe these two aren't exactly oil and water. No, 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 we, we are. We, we definitely are. Um... You know, for instance, Jay here believes that men are defined by what they do, while women are defined by who they're with. Allow me to clarify my position on that matter. This should be good. <laughs> most men are insecure, and they go for their power through their jobs. Whereas most women, on the other hand, are more emotionally secure and in touch with their feelings, thus allowing women to find fulfillment in love, which ultimately is a whole lot more satisfying. Look, Sherry, I'm defined by my love for you. I think I'm becoming a chick. Then maybe you can take my last name. <laughs> Don't push it. Oh, I love you. So, um, ultimately, love is more satisfying. Mm -hmm. well, Claire, do you agree? Uh, yeah. <laughs> And so do I. So we all agree. <laughs> this is Lisa Cromwell. Back to you in the studio. Well, this is by far the worst interview ever. Thank you. Cool. Do you realize what you just threw away? Yeah. But what I'm getting back is a whole lot more rewarding. Jay? really mean what you said? Absolutely. Except for that birth control part. <laughs> Come on, we need to talk. I'm still in trouble. Jay, I want to talk about those words you were throwing around today. Uh, look, Melissa, I am out of words, I'm out of theories, and I'm out of the newspaper business. In fact, I'm not even reading the newspaper anymore. Okay? <laughs> I do, however, 
of this. <gasps> oh, Jay! Don't get too excited, baby. Don't. It's a key. I told you not to get too excited. <laughs> it's a key to my apartment. Thanks. And to my heart. Oh, Jay, that's sweet. And before I forget, I love you and I admire the way you floss. <laughs> now your turn. I like the way you floss. And? Oh, okay. I love the way you floss. <laughs> That's as good as it's gonna get, isn't it? Pretty much. <laughs> You know, Jay, Claire Logan's column has really fallen off since she left. I wouldn't say that. She still has a very loyal readership. People love their pets. And pets love to hear their horoscopes. <laughs> you know, for the first time, I have to admit that I disagree with Claire Logan. My chihuahua is a Libra, and she would never go to Europe to find love. Ah, uh, that's much more for a tourist terrier. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should talk to her. No! no. <laughs>